nobody knows. Nobody knows about it. Nobody knows what they're building. Nobody knows how unique it truly is because we're in Melbourne, Florida. We're not in Silicon Valley where <laughs> the valuation a year ago would have been 100 million. I'm Tim Reynolds and I do the technology development for Seafarer. I've been doing engineering for uh, 30 plus years and primarily in the area of geolocation, locating things. So developing technologies that can look beneath the ocean floor and identify the materials or the residuals of a shipwreck. Well, everybody hears about the Treasure Coast, which are the remnants of a single fleet of ships, which was from 1715. What we're actually looking for is of that particular fleet in Melbourne area, there are multiple ships that sank at sea and were never found. And those have never been salvaged, those have never been um, even found, and we're on the track of at least one of those shipwrecks now. To, to learn that the Spanish have basically raided South Middle America for 300 years and then shipped um, all this treasure of gold from Cuba at the end of the day to, to Spain. And then one out of 10 ships wouldn't make it is what kind of brought my attention to this whole story. A lot of people think a shipwreck, you, you dive and, and the shipwreck is just sitting there on the ocean floor, but in 300 years that shipwreck has actually melted into the ocean floor. So if you stripped away all the water and swam and walked along the ocean floor, um, you wouldn't see a shipwreck. Um, if you think about it, a regular treasure hunter, um, they have a wreck, they have one wreck, and they dig up this one wreck for five years. And after five years, they either broke or they made it. What those guys have done in the past is incredible, but it is truly based on a combination of research, luck, and time. A lot of time. I mean, the hours and the sacrifice and all the rest that the, that the Fisher Group put into their finds is mind-blowing. It's a, it's a life journey for them. It truly was. With Seasum, if the sea searcher now basically can trim this, those five years down to a weekend, essentially. So after a couple of days scanning, we can tell you whether or not there is something there or not. And that changes the, the, econo the whole economy, the whole economics of, of this um, industry. Well, from the data that we've been collecting, at least since the time that I've been with the company, there have been strong implications that there's a lot to find. What's funny is, Nobody knows. Nobody knows about it. Nobody knows what they're building. Nobody knows how unique it truly is and how it will change what it currently exists in these, in these spaces. Nor the applications in a bunch of other industries which are completely unrelated. They just nobody knows because we're in Melbourne, Florida. We're not in Silicon Valley where <laughs> the valuation a year ago would have been 100 million. You know, it's just, that's what it is. It's a different, it's a different it's a different situation because of how they're situated, geographically speaking. Nobody knows Melbourne, Florida. Nobody knows the, the gem that it is here and what it, what it has to offer the techno technology world and especially the startup world. They just don't know because who comes to Melbourne, Florida? And we like to say at Seafair that an object is not just an object, it's a story. And with Everything that we can find on our site and what we have found so far, there's a very big story to tell here. So, you know, there's a lot of days I got bad news. And, uh, but there's gonna be one day that I have extraordinary news.